Hi, a while back I came across a post where a user was angry over a CW key he bought off Amazon. So I decided to buy it. Uh, you see, he described how the key was wired in a wrong way, with two different resistors going from the paddles to the center pin. And that's when I knew I wanted one. You see, there's nothing wrong with this key. The user only bought it for the wrong intent. And here it is. It's based off the design by Adam Kimberly, K6ARK. A design I'm quite familiar with, as I use the same uh, key wired in the normal way with the True SDX. However, uh, this particular key is wired differently to support radios like the Quansheng UVK5. The Quansheng UVK5 is probably one of the cheapest HDs one can buy. Of course, it's not the best radio in the world, but I must admit that in my case it covers all my needs uh, in a way that I don't feel the need to invest in something else. And it's uh, really popular. You see, it is probably one of the most hackable HDs there is. The designers decided to make it open so users may flash their own firmware onto the radio, which has made the Quansheng UVK5 very popular. And many have put their efforts into some great firmware. And you even get hardware hacks, like getting the radio on the HF bands. Probably not a good idea to transmit there. This is my go-to HT for regular FM activity. But I also use it for other modes. Working satellites with my homebrew Yagi and downloading SSTV from the National Space Station. I have flashed this with the firmware by KD8CEC, the version CEC03Q. If you'd like to do the same, take a look at the video in the description. Some of the features supported, in addition to basic HD stuff, is spectrum display, modes like AM and SSP, transmitting SSTV, and of course CW with memory and decoding. So let's plug in the key and take it for a spin. You can choose between three CW modes under menu option 27 demodulation. CW sends CW as a regular wave. CWF sends CW as an audio signal over FM. And CWN is a no transmission practice mode. One thing you may find a bit odd the first time you try to use this radio on CW is that your first touch on the key does not send a signal, but rather starts the transmission. So you have to make it a habit to touch the key once before you send your CW. After a delayed time, the radio stops transmission and you have to touch it again to start transmission. The delay time before stopping transmission may be set under menu option 12, CW delay. I found the 1200 milliseconds to be an okay setting for me. Under menu option 10, you may select the key type. I have mine set to IAB for Iambic B. On menu option 11, you may set the side tone, and menu option 13 sets the speed in word per minute. So, in the poor review, I read that the main complaint was that the key didn't even work, and many more times pitched in, blaming crap from China. And yes, there may be some bad apples, but this was clearly a case of not knowing what you bought in the first place. My only concern with this key is the pressure I'm putting on the mini jack while keying. Will that break over time? In any case, it's not gonna cost me a fortune. You can get the Quansheng UVK5 for less than $30 and the CW key for about $5. I'll leave links down below in the description and hope to see you all on the air on VHF UHF CW. 73.